which is the most entertaining Jeep Renegade you can get. While one might make an argument for the Trailhawk model and its accompanying off-road hardware and consequential go-anywhere ability, that car comes with one glaring flaw, its 2.4-liter engine and 9-speed automatic transmission just aren't very entertaining. Instead, I submit the turbocharged, 1.4-liter base engine and its accompanying 6-speed manual, a position that was reinforced after a recent stint behind the wheel of a very basic Sport 4x4. Not only do you get a fair amount of the Trailhawk's off-road ability, the select terrain system and a 4WD lock mode are standard, but you'll be without the 20 to 1 crawl ratio and rock off-road mode, you'll also enjoy a more dynamically interesting powertrain. Read on to see why the force-induced Renegade might just be the way to go. Driving notes My first date with the Renegade was on the mostly empty, winding roads of Northern California. There. The 1.4-liter turbocharged inline 4 with 160 horsepower and 184 pound-feet of torque felt fine, with no traffic and few stoplights along the drive route. It was easy to keep the engine on boil. But this engine isn't as enjoyable in day-to-day -day suburban traffic. Power arrives suddenly, Vika torque comes between 2,500 and 4,000 revolutions per minute, and if you don't use it, you lose it. There's not much oomph in the higher end of the rev range. With such a peaky power band, it's easy to get caught flat-footed if you're not paying attention. Thankfully the manual transmission makes it simple to stay engaged and in the correct gear. The stick shift is enjoyable to use, with a firm clutch that's easy to modulate and shift action that isn't sloppy or vague. The 1.4-liter engine sounds good. Turn down the stereo. Stomp on the throttle, and you'll be treated to a delicious turbo whistle and a smooth exhaust note. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I want Mopar to offer the Fiat 500 DeBarth's exhaust on the Renegade. It'd be fun. If you do prefer the stereo, know that the Renegade's standard 4-speaker unit is weak. Base models don't offer Bluetooth or satellite radio, but you can add both of those luxuries, two extra speakers, and a 5-inch touchscreen for just $695. Not a bad bargain. The Kony Frequency Selective Dampers do an excellent job of managing both small, frequent imperfections, like freeway expansion joints, and the bigger potholes that still haven't been fixed after the havoc of Detroit's winter. It's not all good, though. The Renegade has a lot of roll. Place the blame on the standard 16-inch wheels and the thick sidewalls of the 215-65 series tires. Larger 17- and 18-inch rolling stock is available on more premium trim levels, 